Taylor was fatally injured after being hit from behind on her motorcycle on a trip. ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo spoke to local leaders and friends of Taylor's. She brings us their reaction and a look at Taylor's work in the county. Well, political leaders and friends alike tell me her death will leave a big void in San Diego politics. But tell me what they'll miss the most is her friendship and personality. Rebecca Taylor, or Becca, as friends called her, left a big mark, not just in San Diego, but across the state. Taylor was the chair of the San Diego Democratic Party. Her death confirmed by her father, who told ABC 10 News she was hit from behind while riding her motorcycle on a trip near the Utah-Nevada border. She uh, has been riding for years, and uh, she rode her motorcycle um, all over the West, uh, down in Mexico. In addition to her love for motorcycles, she was passionate about politics. She had a very strong will and moved mountains when she believed in her causes. Her friends say she fought hard for women's rights, the elderly and veterans. Taylor was a Navy veteran herself. She didn't become the chair of the San Diego Democratic Party in under 10 years. Uh, by not working hard. Her boss, Paul Mitchell, says her connections were so deep, he was fielding calls from politicians all day after news of her passing. Calls from Governor Gavin Newsom, Senator Elizabeth Warren, the mayor of San Diego, Congressman Scott Peters, they've all reached out to try to talk to the family to send those condolences. Governor Newsom, Mayor Todd Gloria, and other politicians issued statements on her untimely death. So did her counterpart, the leader of the Republican Party of San Diego, saying he went to school with Rebecca, adding that while they had their political differences, he respected her commitment and passion. Taylor was just 40 years old. Her imprint on San Diego is strong, and Becca Taylor is a San Diegan for life, and we're never going to forget her. Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.